And we're following breaking news on the deadly plane crash in Farmington. In just the last hour, we have now learned the names of those who were involved. And this, as the search for answers continues into what caused that plane to go down. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon has been at this crash site all morning long. Christian, what have you learned? Heather, yeah, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board are on scene. You can see them right behind us by those blue tents. And over the past half hour, like you mentioned, Farmington Police Department have released the names of the four victims. Take a look at the screen. The two pilots have been identified at 55-year-old William O'Leary from Bristol and 57-year-old Mark Murrow from Danbury. And the two passengers have been identified as 33-year-old Courtney Haviland from Boston and her husband, 32-year-old William Schoner. A business jet came down crashing into the Trump building as more than 100 people worked inside. Everyone was accounted for after the crash, but the four people inside the jet were killed. Two passengers and two pilots. Neighbors today still in disbelief. My sister works there, but thankfully she's working from home. Um, so I did text her immediately and say, hey, this just happened. You might want to be aware, and she was in shock. So she texted her boss, and her boss did confirm and they said that everybody in their building was safe. NTSB spokesman tells us investigators have begun what could take a 10 day to nearly two year investigation until a full report comes out. In a statement, they say the investigator will document the scene, examine the aircraft, request any air traffic communications, radar data, weather reports, and try to contact any witnesses. Also, the investigator will request maintenance records of the aircraft and medical records and flight history of the pilot. The spokesman also says they could be giving updates throughout the investigation, but they do mention there is a lot to learn. Live in Farmington, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.